Do you know what foods could be harming your kidneys? It's a question that could change the way you view your diet. Your kidneys, those powerful little organs, play a crucial role in your body, filtering waste, balancing minerals, and helping control blood pressure. But just like a machine, they need the right fuel to function optimally. Unfortunately, some foods, even those we often enjoy, can be more of a foe than a friend to our kidneys. These may be everyday items sitting in your pantry or fridge right now, slowly chipping away at your kidney health unbeknownst to you. But fear not, because knowledge is power, and today, we're shedding light on these potential dietary dangers. From the sizzle of processed meats to the fizz of soda drinks and the deceptive sweetness of artificial sweeteners, we're about to reveal six foods that could be silently sabotaging your kidneys. So let's dive into the list of these harmful foods, shall we? Starting off our list, we have processed meats. These are the meats that have been transformed through salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve preservation. Think ham, sausages, hot dogs, and bacon. They are often a staple in many people's diets due to their convenience and taste. However, they might not be as friendly to your kidneys as they are to your palate. Processed meats are typically high in sodium, a mineral that, while necessary for bodily functions, can wreak havoc when consumed in excess. Our kidneys are responsible for removing extra sodium from our bodies, but too much of it can put a strain on these vital organs. Over time, this can lead to high blood pressure, a major risk factor for kidney disease. Moreover, processed meats are packed with protein. Now, protein is essential for our bodies, but it's all about balance. Consuming too much protein means your kidneys have to work extra hard to filter out the byproducts. Overworking your kidneys in this way can potentially lead to long-term damage. Also, let's not forget about the preservatives used in these meats. Many processed meats contain nitrites and other chemical preservatives. These substances, while great for keeping your meats fresh and colorful, are not so great for your kidneys. Research suggests that these preservatives may contribute to kidney damage and disease over time. So, what does this mean for your diet? Well, it doesn't mean you need to completely eliminate processed meats, but it does mean you might want to consider limiting your intake. Opt for fresh meats when you can, and try to incorporate more plant-based proteins into your meals. Remember, your kidneys are like the unsung heroes of your body, quietly working in the background to keep you healthy. They deserve to be taken care of. So next time you reach for that hot dog or bacon, think about your kidneys. Next up on our list is soda drinks. Now, we all know that these fizzy delights can be incredibly tempting, especially on a hot summer's day. But what if I told you that the high sugar content and artificial sweeteners in these drinks could be causing harm to your kidneys? Yes, you heard it right. Sodas, particularly those of the diet variety, are often loaded with artificial sweeteners. These sweeteners, while they may reduce the calorie count, can lead to kidney problems in the long run. Studies have shown that these sweeteners can cause kidney function to decline over time. Aside from artificial sweeteners, the high sugar content in regular sodas is another cause for concern. Consuming too much sugar can lead to a host of health problems including obesity and type 2 diabetes both of which are risk factors for kidney disease. Now let's talk about obesity. This condition is a major risk factor for chronic kidney disease. When our bodies carry excess weight it puts extra strain on our kidneys, causing them to work harder to filter out toxins from our blood. And guess what? High sugar sodas are one of the main contributors to obesity. Moreover, the phosphoric acid found in many soda drinks can lead to kidney stones and other renal complications. This acid interferes with your body's ability to absorb calcium, leading to imbalances that can result in kidney damage. But don't worry, there's a simple solution to this problem. The next time you're thirsty, consider reaching for water instead of a soda. It's not only refreshing, but also the healthiest drink for your kidneys. Water helps flush out toxins from your body, aiding your kidneys in their essential function. So, the next time that fizzy temptation strikes, remember the potential harm to your kidneys. Choose water, choose health. Your kidneys will thank you for it. The next time you're thirsty, consider reaching for water instead of a soda. Third on our list is table salt. Now we all know a pinch of salt can elevate the flavors of any dish. But what happens when that pinch becomes a handful? Excessive salt intake can put a considerable strain on your kidneys. These twin organs are responsible for filtering out waste from the blood, but when you consume salt in high amounts, it means they have to work overtime. And just like any machine, when your kidneys are overworked, they start to wear down. Salt, in its essence, is sodium chloride. Sodium plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of fluids in our bodies. 
but when there's too much sodium, the body retains water to dilute it. This water retention can increase blood volume, and in turn, increase blood pressure. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, is a leading cause of kidney disease. It damages the blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to function optimally. Over time, this can lead to kidney failure, a life-threatening condition that requires dialysis or a kidney transplant. So how much salt is too much? The World Health Organization recommends a daily intake of less than 5 grams, about 1 teaspoon of salt for adults. But many people consume much more often without realizing it. Processed foods, fast foods, and restaurant meals often contain high levels of hidden salt. The good news is that you can take steps to reduce your salt intake. Start by checking food labels and choosing products with lower sodium content. Opt for fresh fruits and vegetables over canned or processed ones. And when cooking at home, experiment with herbs and spices to add flavor without the extra sodium. Remember, moderation is key when it comes to salt. It's not about eliminating it completely, but rather, about finding a healthy balance. Because when it comes to your kidneys, every grain of salt matters. Fourth on our list is red meat. Now who doesn't enjoy a juicy steak or a sizzling burger? But did you know that a high intake of red meat can put a significant strain on our kidneys? Let's delve a little deeper. Red meat is packed with animal proteins, which, while beneficial for our bodies in moderation, can increase the metabolic load on our kidneys when consumed in excess. This is because our kidneys are responsible for filtering out waste products from the proteins we consume. Picture this, you're at a party and you're the only one cleaning up. The more the mess, the harder you have to work. It's the same with our kidneys. The more protein waste they have to filter out, the harder they have to work. Over time, this added pressure can lead to kidney damage or even malfunction. Studies have shown a correlation between high red meat consumption and increased risk of kidney disease. One particular study found that those who consumed large amounts of red meat had a higher risk of end-stage renal disease, which is when the kidneys can no longer function on their own. But that doesn't mean you need to completely cut out red meat from your diet. Moderation is key. It's all about balance and portion control. Consuming a diverse range of protein sources can help alleviate the strain on your kidneys. This includes incorporating more plant-based proteins into your diet, such as lentils, tofu, and quinoa, these are not only kidney-friendly but are also packed with essential nutrients that your body will thank you for. So the next time you're planning your meals, remember to diversify your protein sources. Consider swapping out that steak for a hearty lentil stew or a tofu stir-fry. Your kidneys, and indeed your overall health, will reap the benefits. Consider incorporating more plant-based proteins into your diet for healthier kidneys. Fifth on our list is dairy products. Yes, you heard it right. The milk, cheese, and yogurt that we often consider as the cornerstone of a balanced diet can, in fact, be harmful when consumed in excess. Now before you start tossing out all your dairy products, let's delve into why this is. Dairy products are rich in calcium, which is essential for bone health. However, the problem arises when there's too much of it. Excessive consumption of dairy can lead to an overload of calcium in your body. When your body can't process all that calcium, it gets deposited in places it shouldn't be one of those places being your kidneys. This buildup of calcium in your kidneys can result in the formation of what we know as kidney stones. These are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside your kidneys. They can be incredibly painful and are a clear sign that your kidneys are not functioning as they should. Kidney stones are just the tip of the iceberg. Over time, an overload of calcium can cause more serious kidney problems, including chronic kidney disease. This is a long-term condition where the kidneys don't work as well as they should. It's a serious issue that can significantly reduce a person's quality of life. So what's the solution? Do we stop consuming dairy altogether? Well, not necessarily. The key here is moderation. Dairy products are an excellent source of essential nutrients like protein, vitamin D, and of course calcium. They are an important part of a balanced diet, but like with everything else, too much of a good thing can be bad. The takeaway here is to be mindful of your dairy intake. Keep it balanced. Remember your body needs a variety of nutrients, not an overload of just one or two. By keeping your diet diverse and balanced, you can ensure that your kidneys, and indeed your entire body, functions optimally. Consider moderation and balance in your diet to keep your kidneys functioning optimally. Last on our list is artificial sweeteners. These seemingly harmless sugar substitutes found in everything from diet sodas to sugar-free candies can have a surprising impact on our kidneys. 
Artificial sweeteners are chemically manufactured molecules. They're designed to stimulate our taste receptors so we perceive sweetness without the calories of sugar. Sounds like a win-win, right? Unfortunately, it's not quite so simple. Research has begun to shed light on a correlation between artificial sweeteners and kidney function decline. One study, conducted over 20 years, observed women who consumed two or more servings of artificially sweetened soda per day. The results were startling. These women showed a two-fold increase in kidney function decline compared to those who consumed less. Another study revealed that the use of artificial sweeteners can lead to an increase in the formation of kidney stones. The sweeteners can alter the composition of urine, increasing the likelihood of stone formation. This is particularly true for sweeteners like saccharin and aspartame. Now you might be wondering why artificial sweeteners have such an effect on our kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for filtering waste products from our blood. When we consume artificial sweeteners, our kidneys have to work overtime to filter out these foreign substances. Over time, this extra strain can lead to a decrease in kidney function. So what's the solution? Well, moderation is key. If you're a fan of artificially sweetened products, consider cutting back. Better yet, try swapping artificial sweeteners for natural alternatives like honey or maple syrup. But remember, even these natural options should be used sparingly. After all, they're still forms of sugar. Another option is to reduce your overall sugar intake. This can not only benefit your kidneys but also improve your overall health, cutting down on the risk of conditions like diabetes and heart disease. In conclusion, while artificial sweeteners may seem like an attractive sugar-free option, they may not be the healthiest choice for our kidneys. Choosing natural sweeteners or reducing your overall sugar intake can be a better choice for your kidneys. We've covered a lot of ground today exposing some foods that could be harming your kidneys. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We've dived into the world of processed meats, revealing how their high sodium and preservative content can tax your kidneys. And who would have thought that popular soda drinks with their high sugar levels could potentially lead to kidney damage? Quite the revelation, right? We also talked about table salt, a common ingredient in our kitchens, and how it could be a silent enemy to our kidneys due to its high sodium content. And red meat, it's a beloved food for many, but its high protein content might put extra strain on our kidneys when consumed in excess. Next, we broached dairy products, a staple in many diets. While they provide essential nutrients, their high calcium and protein content could potentially lead to kidney stones if not balanced with other foods. Lastly, we highlighted artificial sweeteners, often considered a healthier alternative to sugar, but which could potentially have negative impacts on our kidneys. Now remember, the idea isn't to completely ban these foods from your diet, but rather to understand the need for balance and moderation. It's crucial to take care of our kidneys, these often overlooked organs that play such a vital role in our body's health and well-being. A balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can do wonders for your kidney health. But hey, don't just take my word for it. Do your own research, consult with your healthcare provider, and make informed decisions about your diet. After all, knowledge is power, and when it comes to your health, you're the one in control. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to explore, to learn, and to implement when it comes to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So stick around, we've got plenty more exciting and informative content coming your way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health tips. Remember, your health is in your hands. Do you know the signs of fatty liver disease? It's a question that many might shrug off, but it's one that deserves our attention. Fatty liver disease is a condition where excess fat builds up in your liver. This isn't just a little extra padding we're talking about, but rather a level of fat that can disrupt the normal functioning of your liver. Why should you care? Well, the liver is a vital organ that plays a key role in digesting food, storing energy, and removing toxins from your body. When the liver isn't working as it should, it can lead to a host of health problems. Fatty liver disease is often silent, showing no symptoms until it's advanced. That's why it's so important to know the signs and catch it early. With early detection and the right lifestyle changes, you can stop or even reverse the disease. Remember, recognizing the signs of this disease early can save you from serious health problems in the future. The first sign that you might have fatty liver disease is abdominal pain but not just any kind of abdominal pain. This is a specific type of discomfort that can clue you in on the possibility of fatty liver disease. Now, 
You're probably wondering where is this pain located? Well, it's typically situated in the upper right section of your abdomen. That's the area just beneath your rib cage, where your liver resides. This pain is often described as a dull, persistent ache. It's not sharp or stabbing, but rather a nagging sensation that just doesn't seem to go away. Some people might also experience a feeling of fullness or bloating in this area. It's as if you've eaten a large meal, even when you haven't. This is due to the enlarged liver pressing against other organs in your abdomen. But how can you tell if this pain is related to fatty liver disease and not something else? Well, this is where it gets tricky. Abdominal pain can be caused by a multitude of things. But if you've been experiencing a persistent pain in the upper right quadrant of your abdomen, along with other signs such as fatigue, yellowing of the skin or eyes, itchy skin, swelling in the legs or abdomen, or confusion, then it's time to consult a healthcare professional. Remember, the sooner you recognize these signs, the better your chances are to prevent progression of the disease. Persistent pain in the upper right abdomen should not be ignored as it could be a sign of fatty liver disease. Feeling unusually tired all the time? It could be a sign of fatty liver disease. Yes, you heard it right. The fatigue we're discussing isn't your garden variety tiredness that a good night's sleep can fix. It's a persistent, all-consuming fatigue. The type that sticks around even after you've had ample rest and relaxation. Now you might be wondering, how does fatty liver disease lead to such overwhelming tiredness? It's mainly because your liver is a real powerhouse, a crucial organ that performs over 500 tasks to keep your body functioning optimally. One of its primary jobs is to convert food into energy. However, when your liver is clogged up with excess fat, it can't perform this function as efficiently. This can lead to a constant state of fatigue because your body isn't getting the energy it needs. Moreover, your liver is also responsible for removing toxins from your body. A fatty liver struggles with this task, leading to a buildup of toxins in your bloodstream. These toxins can make you feel generally unwell and, you guessed it, extremely tired. Remember, this isn't about feeling a bit tired after a long day at work or a strenuous workout. It's about feeling drained and exhausted day in, day out, with no relief in sight. If this sounds like you, it's crucial to seek medical advice. If you're feeling persistently fatigued, it's important to get it checked out. Jaundice and itchy skin are other signs of fatty liver disease. Now, let's delve into these symptoms and understand why they occur. Jaundice is a condition that causes your skin and the whites of your eyes to turn yellow. It's not a disease in itself, but rather a sign that your liver is struggling to do its job. You see, one of the liver's key responsibilities is to filter out bilirubin, a byproduct of old red blood cells. If your liver is not functioning properly due to fatty liver disease, Bilirubin can build up in your body, causing your skin and eyes to take on a yellowish hue. Itchy skin, medically known as pruritus, is another symptom that can be associated with fatty liver disease. When the liver is compromised, it struggles to filter out toxins from your bloodstream effectively. These toxins can then accumulate and spread throughout the body, irritating the skin and causing an uncomfortable, persistent itch. Both jaundice and itchy skin are not exclusive to fatty liver disease. They can be signs of various liver conditions, including hepatitis and cirrhosis. However, if you notice these symptoms in conjunction with others we've discussed like abdominal pain or fatigue, it might be a signal that your liver is overloaded with fat and struggling to perform its tasks. It's important to remember that fatty liver disease is often silent, so you might not experience any symptoms until the disease has progressed. That's why regular checkups and maintaining a healthy lifestyle are crucial. But here's the key point. If you're experiencing jaundice or persistent itchy skin, don't brush it off. These are not just minor inconveniences. They're your body's way of telling you something's not right. And when it comes to your liver, you don't want to ignore those signals. These symptoms are more serious and require immediate medical attention. So if you're dealing with these symptoms, it's time to reach out to a healthcare professional. They can help you understand what's happening and guide you on the next steps. Remember, early detection and intervention can make a world of difference when it comes to managing fatty liver disease. Lastly, swelling in the legs and confusion can also be signs of fatty liver disease. The disease's progression can lead to an accumulation of fluid in the lower extremities, a condition known as edema. This fluid buildup is due to the liver's impaired ability to produce albumin, a protein that helps keep fluid in the bloodstream. 
When the liver's function is compromised, it can't produce enough albumin, leading to fluid leaking out from the blood vessels and pooling in the lower parts of the body. This results in noticeable swelling in the legs and ankles. It's not just a cosmetic concern. Edema can be uncomfortable and even painful, impeding mobility and daily activities. Now let's talk about the sixth sign, which can be quite alarming, confusion or disorientation. Remember, the liver plays a vital role in removing toxins from our body. When it's damaged by fatty liver disease, its detoxification function is compromised. This can lead to the buildup of toxins like ammonia in the bloodstream, which can cross the blood-brain barrier and affect brain function. The result? Confusion, disorientation, and even changes in personality or behavior. This condition, known as hepatic encephalopathy, is a serious indication of severe liver damage. It's not just about feeling a little foggy or forgetful. Hepatic encephalopathy can cause significant cognitive impairment, affecting your ability to work, drive, and even carry out simple tasks. Both edema and hepatic encephalopathy are not early signs of fatty liver disease. They often indicate advanced stages of the condition, where the liver has been significantly damaged. Hence, if you or someone you know experiences these symptoms, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. Remember, fatty liver disease is reversible, especially in its early stages. But early detection is key. Regular checkups, a healthy diet, and regular exercise can go a long way in preventing and managing this condition. Swelling and confusion are severe symptoms that require immediate medical attention. And as we always say, your health is your wealth, so take care of it. Now that you know the signs of fatty liver disease, you can be vigilant about your health. It's crucial to remember that these symptoms, abdominal pain, fatigue, jaundice, itchy skin, swelling, and confusion are not exclusive to fatty liver disease. They can denote a variety of health issues. However, their presence, especially when experienced together, warrants a visit to the doctor. Fatty liver disease is a condition that sneaks up on you, often showing no symptoms until it's advanced. So, it's essential to maintain regular health checks, especially if you have risk factors such as obesity, diabetes, or high cholesterol. It's a sneaky adversary, but armed with knowledge, you can face it head on. Now let's touch briefly on diagnosis and treatment. Fatty liver disease can be diagnosed via blood tests, imaging studies, or a liver biopsy. The treatment options largely depend on the cause. If it's alcohol-induced, abstaining from alcohol can reverse the condition. If it's due to obesity or an unhealthy diet, changes in lifestyle can be highly beneficial. Remember, it's never too late to make healthier choices. This has been a quick dive into a vast topic. There's a lot more to learn about fatty liver disease, its causes, and its treatment. But don't worry, we've got you covered. There's a treasure trove of information waiting for you in our other videos and the links in the description. Knowledge is power and we aim to empower you. We're here to help you navigate through the complexities of health issues, breaking them down into digestible information. So we invite you to join us on this journey. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on health topics that matter to you. Thanks for watching. Remember, your health is your wealth. Subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description for more information. Stay healthy. Are you willing to embark on a healthier lifestyle journey today? Imagine a simple change that can boost your health significantly. Today, we're diving into the amazing benefits of incorporating oatmeal into your daily diet. From its rich history, nutritional value, to the countless ways you can enjoy this wholesome grain, we've got it all covered. Stay tuned as we explore how a humble bowl of oatmeal can be your secret weapon to a healthier life. Let's unravel the wonders of oatmeal together. Oatmeal has a rich history dating back thousands of years. Let's delve into the origins of this remarkable grain. Our journey begins with wild oats, which were used in ancient China and Greece for medicinal purposes. As time marched on, cultivation techniques improved, allowing for the grain's widespread use across Europe and Asia. By the Middle Ages, oats had gained popularity as a hearty, nutritious staple especially in regions with harsh climates where other crops struggled to thrive. The Scottish, in particular, incorporated oatmeal into their daily meals, creating dishes that are still enjoyed today. Fast forward to the Industrial Revolution, the invention of the oat roller made oats more accessible and easier to cook, catapulting oatmeal into a breakfast favorite. In the modern era, oatmeal has evolved from a simple porridge to a versatile ingredient used in a variety of dishes. From humble beginnings, oatmeal has become a staple in many diets around the world.
Uh, the nutritional value of oatmeal is astounding. Let's take a deep dive into this humble grain's nutritional profile. Oatmeal is a veritable powerhouse of key nutrients that work in harmony to fuel your body and promote optimal health. One of the standout nutrients in oatmeal is dietary fiber. A single cup of cooked oatmeal provides about 4 grams of fiber, much of which is a type called beta-glucan. This unique fiber has been linked to a host of health benefits, from supporting healthy digestion to maintaining heart health. Beyond fiber, oatmeal is also a great source of protein. This critical nutrient helps repair body tissues and supports the growth and development of muscles. Just one cup of oatmeal offers about 6 grams of protein, making it an excellent choice for those looking to add a plant-based protein source to their diet. But the nutritional goodness of oatmeal doesn't stop there. This grain is packed with vitamins and minerals that are essential for our bodies to function correctly. It's rich in B vitamins, including thiamine, riboflavin, and folate, which play a crucial role in energy production and the formation of red blood cells. Oatmeal also boasts a good amount of minerals like iron, magnesium, and zinc, contributing to a range of functions from oxygen transportation to the maintenance of a healthy immune system. Let's not forget about the antioxidants in oatmeal. One of these is Avananthromides, unique to oats known for its anti-inflammatory and anti-itching effects. They may also help lower blood pressure levels by increasing the production of nitric oxide, a gas molecule that helps dilate blood vessels and leads to better blood flow. All these nutrients in oatmeal work together to keep your body running at its best. They provide you with energy, support your immune system, help maintain your heart health, and much more. So when you start your day with a bowl of oatmeal, you're not just filling your stomach, you're also nourishing your body with essential nutrients. Oatmeal is not just filling, it's also packed with the nutrients your body needs. Eating oatmeal daily can provide numerous health benefits. Let's dive in to understand why this humble grain has such an impressive health profile. Firstly, oatmeal is a heart's best friend. It's packed with a type of fiber known as beta-glucan, which is shown to reduce both total and LDL cholesterol, the types often referred to as bad cholesterol. This fiber works like a sponge in your digestive system, soaking up cholesterol-rich bile and transporting it out of the body. Studies have found that consuming just 3 grams of soluble oat fiber per day Roughly the amount found in a bowl of oatmeal can reduce your total cholesterol by up to 8 to 23 percent, an effect that could decrease your risk of heart disease. Oatmeal also plays a key role in weight management. The high fiber content in oatmeal makes it an excellent choice for those trying to shed a few pounds or maintain a healthy weight. It's a food that keeps you feeling full longer, helping to curb overeating and snacking throughout the day. A study in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition found that oatmeal, compared to other breakfast cereals, provides a greater sense of satiety, which can help control weight. Lastly, let's talk about blood sugar control. Oatmeal's low glycemic index means that it doesn't cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. This makes it a good choice for people with diabetes or anyone looking to maintain stable blood sugar levels. The beta-glucan in oatmeal slows down the rate at which glucose is absorbed into the bloodstream helping to prevent sudden spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels. With all these health benefits, oatmeal is truly a superfood. It's a simple, affordable, and delicious way to boost your health. So, whether you're looking to keep your heart healthy, manage your weight, or control your blood sugar levels, oatmeal could be just the superfood you need. Incorporating oatmeal into your diet is easy and versatile. A humble grain with a mighty nutritional punch, oatmeal can be enjoyed in a multitude of ways that go beyond the traditional bowl of hot cereal. Let's start with overnight oats. This no-cook method is as simple as it gets. Combine equal parts of oats and your choice of milk, or a dairy-free alternative in a jar. Add a spoonful of chia seeds for an extra boost of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids, then sweeten with a touch of honey or maple syrup. Stir it all up, put the lid on, and let it sit in the fridge overnight. By morning, you'll have a creamy, satisfying breakfast ready to go. Dress it up with fresh fruits, nuts, or a sprinkle of cinnamon for extra flavor and nutrients. Now who doesn't love a good cookie? With oatmeal cookies, you can satisfy your sweet tooth and still keep things on the healthier side. Mix oats with whole wheat flour, a bit of baking soda, and your choice of sweetener. Add in your favorite mix-ins, perhaps some dark chocolate chips, dried fruit, or nuts. Bake them until golden, and voila, you've got a treat that's both delicious and nutritious. If you're on the go, an oatmeal smoothie might be your perfect match. Blend a handful of oats with a ripe banana, some Greek yogurt, and a splash of milk. 
You can also add in a spoonful of your preferred protein powder or a handful of spinach for an extra health kick. It's a wholesome, drinkable meal that's perfect for those busy mornings. And don't forget, oatmeal can also be used as a healthy substitute in many recipes. Use it in place of breadcrumbs and meatballs or meatloaf, or try making a crumble topping for your favorite fruit dessert. With these ideas, you can enjoy oatmeal in a variety of delicious ways. So, don't limit oatmeal to just your breakfast bowl, let it shine throughout your day. Like any food, oatmeal comes with its share of myths and misconceptions. Let's dive in and debunk some of these fallacies. First off, the idea that oatmeal is boring or bland. This couldn't be further from the truth. Oatmeal is like a blank canvas, ready to be adorned with an array of vibrant flavors. From fruits and nuts to spices and sweeteners, the customization possibilities are endless. Next, there's the misconception that oatmeal is not suitable for those with specific dietary restrictions. Let's clear this up. Oatmeal is naturally gluten-free, making it a safe choice for those with gluten sensitivities or celiac disease. However, it's crucial to ensure your oats are labeled as gluten-free, as cross-contamination can occur during processing. For individuals on a low-carb diet, while it's true oatmeal contains carbohydrates, it's a whole grain that provides slow-releasing, complex carbs. These are the good kind that keep you feeling full and fueled throughout the day. Lastly, some believe that oatmeal is fattening. This is a common misunderstanding. Oatmeal is low in fat and high in fiber, which aids in weight management by promoting a feeling of fullness. It's not the oatmeal that's fattening, but rather the sugary or high-fat toppings that are often added. Now that we've debunked these myths, it's clear that oatmeal is a great addition to any diet. We've explored the amazing benefits of eating oatmeal daily. We've journeyed through the rich history of this humble grain and unpacked its impressive nutritional value. We've discovered how oatmeal positively impacts our health, reducing the risk of heart disease, controlling blood sugar levels, and aiding in weight loss. We've also dived into the various delicious ways to incorporate oatmeal into our daily diet, debunking some common myths and misconceptions along the way. The hope is that you are now equipped with the knowledge to appreciate the value that oatmeal brings to the table, literally and metaphorically, and that you're inspired to make it a staple in your diet, starting your healthy journey today. Remember, the pursuit of health is a marathon, not a sprint. So, take it one bowl of oatmeal at a time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description for more information. Here's to your health. Looking for a quick and easy workout routine you can do at home? Well, then you've hit the jackpot because you're about to embark on a journey of fitness that's as user-friendly as it is effective. This video is your guide to a 10-minute workout routine that's tailored for beginners, but don't be fooled, it packs a punch. We've designed this routine to be swift yet comprehensive, targeting multiple muscle groups. It's perfect for those days when time is of the essence or when you're just not in the mood for the gym. The best part? No fancy equipment needed, just you and your determination. This workout is the epitome of convenience meeting effectiveness. It's not just about getting you moving, it's about introducing a routine that you can stick to, one that will gradually help you build strength and stamina. So, are you ready to take the first step towards a healthier you? Stay tuned to discover a workout routine that will help you get active and fit. Before we dive in, ensure to warm up your body to prevent injuries. No matter how eager you may be to jump right into your workout, Warming up is a critical step you must never skip. Why, you may ask? Well, a good warm-up routine prepares your body for the more intense exercise to come. It gradually increases your heart rate and circulation, which in turn loosens up the joints and increases blood flow to the muscles. This reduces the risk of injuries and improves performance. Let's kick off our warm-up with arm circles. These are simple yet effective in warming up your upper body. Stand straight, Extend your arms out to the sides and make big slow circles with them. You're going to do this for about 30 seconds in one direction then switch and go 30 seconds in the other. Remember to keep your breath steady and your posture upright. Next, we're going to march on the spot. This helps to get the blood flowing in your lower body. Stand tall, lift your knees high, and swing your arms in rhythm with your steps. You'll want to keep this up for about a minute. It's a simple exercise but it's great for warming up your legs and getting your heart rate going. While you're doing these exercises, make sure to maintain a slow and steady breathing pattern. Don't rush. The goal here isn't to exhaust yourself, but to prepare your body for the workout ahead. If at any point you feel dizzy or out of breath, slow down, take a few deep breaths, and when you're ready, continue at a pace that feels comfortable for you. 
Warm-up exercises are like the appetizer to your main course. They set the stage, prepping your body and mind for the workout to come. And just like an appetizer, they should leave you feeling excited and ready for the main event, without filling you up or wearing you out. Now that your body is warmed up, you're ready to start the workout. So let's get to it. The first exercise is jumping jacks, a great full body exercise. This classic move is a wonderful way to get your heart pumping and your muscles moving. But what's the correct way to perform this exercise? Let's break it down. Firstly, let's start with your stance. Stand tall with your feet together and hands at your sides. This is your starting position. Now, as you jump, spread your legs slightly wider than shoulder width apart and simultaneously swing your arms up over your head. Be mindful to keep your arms straight and your movement smooth. Next, immediately jump back to the starting position bringing your arms back to your sides. That's one rep. Take note, your jumps should be light and bouncy not harsh. Think about landing softly on the balls of your feet to minimize impact. Now let's talk about form. It's crucial to maintain good form throughout this exercise to avoid injury and maximize benefits. Keep your spine straight and your core engaged. This isn't just a leg and arm exercise, it's a full body movement. By keeping your core engaged, you're working your abdominal muscles as well. Another point to consider is your breathing. It's important to breathe naturally throughout the exercise. Inhale as you jump out and exhale as you jump back in. This helps keep your body oxygenated and your muscles functioning at their best. Now, how many should you do? If you're a beginner, start with one set of 10 reps, then gradually increase as your fitness level improves. If you're more advanced, aim for three sets of 20 reps, with a 30-second rest in between sets. Remember, the goal is not to rush through the reps. Quality over quantity is the key, it's not about how fast you can do the jumping jacks but how well you can do them. The better your form, the more effective the exercise. So, there you have it, that's how you do jumping jacks. Incorporate this into your workout routine to elevate your heart rate, burn calories and tone your entire body. Remember to keep your pace comfortable, it's not about speed, but consistency. Moving on to our next exercise, squats. A powerful exercise for your lower body. Squats are a classic multi-joint exercise that primarily targets your quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes. They also engage your core and improve your balance, making them a comprehensive workout for your lower body. Now let's dive into the correct form and technique for a squat. Start by standing tall, feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed outwards. Imagine you're about to sit on an invisible chair behind you, this will be your guide as you lower your body. Bend at the knees and hips, pushing your hips back while keeping your chest up and your back straight. Make sure your knees are aligned with your toes and don't go past them. Lower yourself until your thighs are parallel to the ground or as close as you can get. Feel the burn in your quads and glutes. Pause for a moment at the bottom of the squat. This is where the magic happens. You're actively engaging those muscles, building strength and endurance. Now push through your heels to stand back up, straightening your legs and squeezing your glutes at the top. That's one rep done right. Remember, it's not about speed, but control. A slow, controlled squat is far more effective than rushing through the motion. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale as you lower down, and exhale as you stand back up. This helps maintain a steady rhythm and keeps your muscles oxygenated. If you're a beginner, aim for about 10 to 15 squats. As you get stronger and more comfortable with the movement, you can gradually increase the number of reps or even add some weights for an extra challenge. Squats are a great way to strengthen your lower body. They are versatile, effective, and can be done anywhere, anytime. So whether you're at home, in the gym, or even on a vacation, you can always squeeze in a quick squat session. Keep your pace steady and remember, form is key. Now, let's shift our focus to the upper body with push-ups. Push-ups, a classic exercise that's been around for ages, are a great way to strengthen your chest, shoulders, triceps, and core muscles. They're simple in theory, but ensuring proper form is crucial to reaping all the benefits they offer. So how do we perform a perfect push-up? Let's break it down, step by step. First, start in a high plank position. Place your palms flat on the ground, directly under your shoulders. Your feet should be hip width apart, and your body should form a straight line from your head to your heels. This is the start and end position of a push-up. Next, lower your body. Bend your elbows and keep them close to your body as you lower yourself until your chest touches the floor. Remember, your body should remain straight like a plank of wood. No sagging or hiking. This is where your core comes into play, so keep those abs engaged. 
Now it's time to push back up. Extend your elbows and lift your body back to the starting position. You've just completed one rep. Congratulations. Remember it's all about control. Don't rush through your push-ups. It's better to do fewer reps with good form than more reps with poor form. And if standard push-ups are too challenging at first, don't worry. You can modify them by dropping to your knees or doing them against a wall. The key is to keep practicing and improving. Push-ups are an excellent exercise for upper body strength and they can be done anywhere. No gym or equipment needed. They might be challenging but the payoff is worth every drop of sweat. So, keep pushing, and you'll see yourself getting stronger with each rep. Push-ups might be challenging, but they are highly effective for upper body strength. So, let's keep pushing and see the strength we can build together. Finally, we have planks, a fantastic exercise for your core. This simple yet powerful exercise will not only strengthen your core but also work your glutes and hamstrings, support proper posture and improve balance. So, let's dive right into it, shall we? Start by getting into a push-up position. Your body should form a straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. Your hands should be directly under your shoulders about shoulder width apart. This is the high plank position. Now the key here is to keep your body as straight as a plank, no pun intended. In this position you should be looking down at the floor, not forward or up to avoid straining your neck. You want to brace your core as if you're about to be punched in the gut. This will help engage the right muscles and protect your lower back. Now when it comes to your legs they should be working too. Squeeze your glutes and tighten your quads. This will help you maintain the right form and make the exercise more effective. Remember it's not about how long you can hold the plank, but about maintaining the perfect form for as long as you can. Now you might feel your body start to sag after a while. That's your cue to take a break. It's better to maintain good form for a shorter time than to hold a plank with poor form for longer. It's also important to breathe while you're holding your plank. It might sound obvious, but many people hold their breath during this exercise. Try to inhale and exhale slowly and steadily. This will help you stay focused and maintain your form. Planks might seem tough, but they are one of the most effective exercises for core strength. They require no equipment and you can do them anywhere. So next time you're wondering what to do for your workout, remember that a few minutes of planking can go a long way. Remember, like any exercise, it's about consistency. Start with what you can handle even if it's just for a few seconds and gradually build up your endurance. In no time you'll be planking like a pro. Planks might seem tough but they are one of the most effective exercises for core strength. Scene script. Great job now let's cool down with some light stretching. You've pushed through, given it your all and now it's time to reward your body with a cool down. Cooling down is just as essential as the workout itself. It allows your heart rate and breathing to gradually return to normal and helps to avoid any potential muscle stiffness or soreness. It's the perfect way to wrap up your workout, giving your body the care it needs after an intense session. Let's start with a simple hamstring stretch. This stretch targets the back of your thighs, an area that can often feel tight after exercises like squats or jumping jacks. Here's how you do it. Stand tall, then bend forward at your hips, reaching towards your toes. Keep your knees slightly bent, and hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. While you're doing this, remember to breathe deeply, and relax. Imagine each exhale helping to release the tension in your muscles. Next up is the shoulder stretch. This move is great for relieving any tension in your upper body, especially after those push-ups and planks. To do this stretch, reach one arm across your body, and use your other arm to pull it in closer to your chest. Hold this position for about 20 seconds, then switch to the other arm. Remember, you're not forcing the stretch, but rather gently encouraging your muscles to relax. Cooling down is not only about physical recovery, but it's also a moment to mentally wind down. Take this time to reflect on your workout, acknowledge the effort you've put in, and feel proud of your accomplishment. Remember, consistency is the key to fitness. Keep practicing these exercises and you'll see improvements over time. Embrace this journey with patience and persistence, and before you know it, you'll see the fruits of your hard work. Fitness is not a destination, it's a way of life, so here's to your health and happiness, keep going, you're doing great. So, that's the end of our beginner-friendly home workout routine. We've shared a simple yet effective approach to fitness that you can easily incorporate into your everyday life. We started with a warm-up to get your heart rate up and your muscles ready. Then, we moved on to our four main exercises, jumping jacks, squats, push-ups, and planks. Each of these exercises targets different muscle groups and gives you a full-body workout right in the comfort of your own home. Remember,
Consistency is the key to success in fitness. It may feel challenging at first, but stick with it. Make this routine a part of your daily life, and you'll soon see the benefits. You'll start to feel stronger, more energetic, and more confident. And the best part is, you don't need any special equipment or a gym membership to do it. All you need is your own body and a little bit of space. Fitness is not just about looking good, it's about feeling good and leading a healthy life. It's about empowering yourself to take control of your own health and well-being. And it all starts with small steps. This routine is one such step, a stepping stone to a healthier, fitter you. We hope you found this home workout routine helpful. If you did, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let us know how you're getting on with the routine. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're here to help. And if you're looking for more fitness content, we've got plenty more to offer. We cover a wide range of topics, from diet and nutrition to advanced workout techniques. So, be sure to check out our other videos. And now, for our final call to action. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us continue to provide free, high-quality fitness content for everyone. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description for more resources and information. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. Stay active and keep fit. Do you want to improve your health in under 10 minutes? If yes, then you are in the right place. Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about how small, daily health practices can make a huge difference in our lives. We all lead busy lives and sometimes it's easy to neglect our health, but what if I told you that you could improve your health in less than 10 minutes a day? Yes, you heard it right. Our health is our wealth and it's essential that we take care of it. Simple everyday habits can go a long way in enhancing our overall well-being. These practices don't require much time or effort, but can bring about significant results beneficial for both our physical and mental health. So, are you ready to transform your life with these quick health tips? Stay tuned as we delve into the 10 ways to improve your health in under 10 minutes. First off, let's talk about hydration. You see, water is the lifeblood of our bodies. It's involved in nearly every bodily function, from regulating temperature to flushing out toxins. When our bodies lack enough water, these functions can be compromised, leading to fatigue, headaches, and even serious health problems. So how much water should you drink? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer as it depends on factors like your age, gender, activity level, and climate. However, a good rule of thumb is to try and drink a glass of water every hour. This might sound like a lot, but trust me, your body will thank you for it. Don't wait until you're thirsty to drink water, as that's a sign that you're already dehydrated. Start your day with a glass of water to kickstart your metabolism and keep a water bottle handy throughout the day. So keep a water bottle handy and stay hydrated. Next up, deep breathing. This is a simple yet potent tool to improve your health. Now, you might be thinking, I breathe all the time, what's so special about it? Well, it's about how you breathe. Deep mindful breathing can reduce stress, lower your heart rate, and even boost your immune system. And you know what's great? Improving lung capacity. When you take deep breaths, you fill your lungs to their fullest capacity, enhancing oxygen exchange. This in turn fuels every single cell in your body, promoting overall health and well-being. Now, let's talk about how you can practice deep breathing. It's straightforward. Find a quiet place, sit comfortably, close your eyes and breathe. Inhale deeply through your nose, hold for a few seconds, then exhale slowly through your mouth. Repeat this for just a few minutes each day and you'll start to notice the benefits. Remember, a few minutes of deep breathing can do wonders for your health. Moving on, we have stretching. Now you might be wondering, what's so special about stretching? Well, let me tell you, it's more than just a warm-up routine for athletes. Stretching is a simple act that brings about numerous health benefits. It increases your flexibility, making your everyday tasks easier and more enjoyable. It helps you maintain a good posture by balancing the tension placed across the joint by the muscles that cross it. But that's not all. Stretching also reduces muscle tension, alleviating those annoying aches and pains you might feel after a long day at work or an intense workout session. You know that feeling of stiffness when you've been in one position for too long? A few minutes of stretching can help relieve that. So, how about incorporating a few minutes of stretching every hour into your routine? It doesn't take much time, but the benefits are immense. Stretching is a simple yet effective way to improve your health. Let's not forget about healthy snacking. It's a common misconception that snacking is a no-go when it comes to health. But in reality, it all boils down to what you're snacking on. 
Junk food? Sure, that's a ticket to a health nightmare, but healthy snacks? They can be a game changer. Healthy snacks not only curb hunger pangs but also provide essential nutrients and can help maintain steady blood sugar levels. So instead of reaching for that bag of chips or a candy bar, why not go for something healthier? Consider a handful of nuts. They're packed with protein, fiber, and healthy fats, which can keep you feeling full and energized. Or how about some fresh fruits? They're refreshing, packed with vitamins, and give that sweet craving a healthy fix. Remember, the key to healthy snacking is choosing nutrient-dense foods over empty calorie ones. So swap those chips with some healthy snacks for a healthier you. Next, we have positive thinking. Often overlooked, the power of a positive mindset can work wonders for our overall health. It's like having a secret weapon that helps us combat stress, anxiety, and even physical ailments. So how does one foster positive thinking? Well, it's all about consciously choosing optimism over pessimism. It starts with acknowledging the good in every situation, even when things seem tough. Picture your mind as a garden. Every thought you plant matters. So let's plant seeds of positivity and watch them bloom into a healthier you. One great method to cultivate positivity is through gratitude journaling. By writing down what you're thankful for each day, you're training your mind to focus on the good. This practice can significantly improve your mood, reduce stress, and even boost your immune system. Remember, the power of positive thinking isn't just about feeling good, it's about improving your health and well-being. Remember, a positive mind leads to a healthy body. Moving on, regular exercise is key. It's like the golden thread that ties the knot of our overall health and well-being. It's not just about losing weight or building muscles, but it's about keeping your body functioning at its best. And the best part? You don't need to spend hours at the gym to reap these benefits. A quick 10-minute workout can do wonders. Consider doing a brisk walk around the block or a series of jumping jacks in your living room. How about a quick burst of high-intensity interval training or a round of push-ups and sit-ups? These exercises get your heart pumping, improve your stamina, and can even boost your mood. Remember, consistency is key. Make it a point to move your body every day, no matter how small the activity. Exercise is not a chore, but a celebration of what your body can do. Keep moving and keep improving. Next up, sound sleep. The power of a good night's sleep cannot be overstated. It's an essential part of our lives, a time when our body repairs and rejuvenates itself. A lack of sound sleep can lead to a slew of health issues, from weight gain to mood disorders to weakened immunity. So, how can you improve your sleep quality? First, establish a regular sleep schedule. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day can regulate your body's internal clock and help you fall asleep and stay asleep for the night. Second, create a restful environment. Make your bedroom quiet, dark, and cool. Consider using room darkening shades, earplugs, or a fan to create an environment that suits your needs. Lastly, pay attention to what you eat and drink. Avoid large meals, caffeine, and alcohol close to bedtime. Remember, a good night's sleep is a step towards better health. Let's talk about a balanced diet. A balanced diet is not about restrictions. It's about fueling your body with the right types of food. It's the perfect blend of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals that our bodies need to function at their best. Now, incorporating a balanced diet into your daily routine doesn't have to be difficult. Start with small, manageable changes. Swap out that bag of chips for a handful of nuts. Replace your sugary drink with a glass of water or a piece of fresh fruit. Don't forget to add a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables to your plate. They are packed with essential nutrients that your body needs. And remember, it's not just about what you eat, but also how much you eat. Portion control plays a crucial role in maintaining a balanced diet. So take a step towards better health by embracing a balanced diet. After all, a balanced diet is the key to a healthy life. And finally, we have come to the end of our list. We've journeyed through 10 easy ways to boost your health in under 10 minutes. We've explored the importance of hydration and the rejuvenating powers of deep breathing. We've stretched our bodies and minds and learned the value of healthy snacking. We've embraced positive thinking and recognized the significance of regular exercise. We've discovered the restorative nature of sound sleep and the vitality provided by a balanced diet. But remember, this is just the beginning. These 10 steps are not a one-time solution, but a lifestyle change. It's about making small, manageable adjustments to your daily routine. So, 
Give these tips a try and see the difference they can make in your life. Remember, small steps can lead to big changes. So start today and improve your health in under 10 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description for more health tips. Have you ever wondered how to boost your immune system naturally? It's a question that has crossed many minds. After all, a robust immune system is our body's first line of defense against illnesses. In this video, we'll step into the world of natural immune boosters, exploring practices you can incorporate into your daily life. From proper nutrition to regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress management, we'll guide you through each step. So, are you ready to give your immune system the natural boost it needs? Let's dive in. First and foremost, proper nutrition is key. It's like fuel for your body. Without it, you're running on empty. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats is essential for a robust immune system. Now let's get specific. Think citrus fruits like oranges and grapefruits. They're packed with vitamin C, which is known to boost your immune system. Garlic is another immune booster. It's not just for warding off vampires, but it can help fight off viruses too. Then there's ginger. This spicy root can help reduce inflammation and bolster your body's natural defenses. And let's not forget about green tea. Full of antioxidants, it's the perfect beverage to sip on for overall health. These foods are not just tasty, but they also serve a purpose. They give your body what it needs to fight off those pesky germs. Remember, your diet plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy immune system. Secondly, don't underestimate the power of regular exercise. A daily dose of physical activity is like a booster shot for your immune system. It's a natural way to send your white blood cells, those little warriors in your body, into overdrive. Consider this. When you're active, your body's defenses are too. Walking, running, swimming, yoga, or dancing, these are all great ways to keep your body moving and your immune system buzzing. But it's not just about the big workouts. It's about consistent movement. Even if it's just a brisk walk around the block or a quick yoga session in your living room, every bit helps. Remember, it's not about being the fastest or the strongest. It's about being consistent. The key is finding an activity you enjoy and making it a regular part of your routine. So keep moving, your immune system will thank you. Thirdly, you need to get enough sleep. Now you might be wondering, why sleep? Well, during those quiet hours when you're off in dreamland, your body is hard at work repairing and regenerating cells, an essential process for a robust immune system. Lack of sleep or irregular sleep patterns can throw this process off balance, leaving your immune system weakened and more susceptible to infections. So, how can you improve your sleep quality? Here are a few tips. Establish a regular sleep schedule. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Create a sleep-friendly environment. Think cool, dark, and quiet. Limit your caffeine intake, especially in the evening. And consider a calming pre-sleep routine, like reading a book or taking a warm bath. So, make sure you are getting your Zs. Your immune system needs rest to function at its best. Lastly, but certainly not least, managing stress is essential. Stress, especially when it's chronic, can wreak havoc on your immune system. It can suppress your immune response making you more susceptible to infections and diseases. But don't worry, there are several ways you can keep stress at bay. One effective method is meditation. Spending just a few minutes each day in quiet contemplation can significantly reduce stress levels and boost your immune system. Deep breathing exercises are another fantastic tool. Simply taking slow, deep breaths can help to lower your heart rate and blood pressure, calming your body and mind. And let's not forget hobbies. Engaging in activities you love is a great way to distract your mind from stress and promote relaxation. This could be anything from painting to playing soccer to gardening. Remember, a calm mind leads to a strong immune system. So there you have it, four natural ways to boost your immune system. Proper nutrition, regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress management. All play a crucial role in strengthening your immunity. Remember, consistency is key. Make these habits a part of your daily routine and witness the transformation in your health. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description for more health tips. Stay healthy and strong. Have you ever wondered how to boost your immune system naturally? It's a question that has crossed many minds. After all, a robust immune system is our body's first line of defense against illnesses. In this video, we'll step into the world of natural immune boosters, exploring practices you can incorporate into your daily life. From proper nutrition to regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress management, we'll guide you through each step. So, are you ready to give your immune system the natural boost it needs? Let's dive in. First and foremost, proper nutrition is key. It's like fuel for your body. Without it, you're running on empty. 
A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats is essential for a robust immune system. Now let's get specific. Think citrus fruits like oranges and grapefruits. They're packed with vitamin C, which is known to boost your immune system. Garlic is another immune booster. It's not just for warding off vampires, but it can help fight off viruses too. Then there's ginger. This spicy root can help reduce inflammation and bolster your body's natural defenses. And let's not forget about green tea. Full of antioxidants, it's the perfect beverage to sip on for overall health. These foods are not just tasty, but they also serve a purpose. They give your body what it needs to fight off those pesky germs. Remember, your diet plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy immune system. Secondly, don't underestimate the power of regular exercise. A daily dose of physical activity is like a booster shot for your immune system. It's a natural way to send your white blood cells, those little warriors in your body, into overdrive. Consider this. When you're active, your body's defenses are too. Walking, running, swimming, yoga, or dancing, these are all great ways to keep your body moving and your immune system buzzing. But it's not just about the big workouts. It's about consistent movement. Even if it's just a brisk walk around the block or a quick yoga session in your living room, every bit helps. Remember, it's not about being the fastest or the strongest. It's about being consistent. The key is finding an activity you enjoy and making it a regular part of your routine. So keep moving, your immune system will thank you. Thirdly, you need to get enough sleep. Now you might be wondering, why sleep? Well, during those quiet hours when you're off in dreamland, your body is hard at work repairing and regenerating cells, an essential process for a robust immune system. Lack of sleep or irregular sleep patterns can throw this process off balance, leaving your immune system weakened and more susceptible to infections. So, how can you improve your sleep quality? Here are a few tips. Establish a regular sleep schedule. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Create a sleep-friendly environment. Think cool, dark, and quiet. Limit your caffeine intake, especially in the evening. And consider a calming pre-sleep routine, like reading a book or taking a warm bath. So, make sure you are getting your Zs. Your immune system needs rest to function at its best. Lastly, but certainly not least, managing stress is essential. Stress, especially when it's chronic, can wreak havoc on your immune system. It can suppress your immune response making you more susceptible to infections and diseases. But don't worry, there are several ways you can keep stress at bay. One effective method is meditation. Spending just a few minutes each day in quiet contemplation can significantly reduce stress levels and boost your immune system. Deep breathing exercises are another fantastic tool. Simply taking slow, deep breaths can help to lower your heart rate and blood pressure, calming your body and mind. And let's not forget hobbies. Engaging in activities you love is a great way to distract your mind from stress and promote relaxation. This could be anything from painting to playing soccer to gardening. Remember, a calm mind leads to a strong immune system. So there you have it, four natural ways to boost your immune system. Proper nutrition, regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress management. All play a crucial role in strengthening your immunity. Remember, consistency is key. Make these habits a part of your daily routine and witness the transformation in your health. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description for more health tips. Stay healthy and strong. Do you struggle with sugar cravings? If so, you're not alone. Many of us experience that insistent tug, that sweet tooth calling out for a sugary indulgence. Sugar cravings are a common issue that can derail our best intentions for a healthy diet and affect our overall health. But why do we get these cravings? The answers might surprise you. It's not just about a lack of willpower. Factors like stress can trigger sugar cravings. When we're under pressure, our bodies often seek quick energy boosts and sugar fits the bill. Lack of sleep is another culprit. When we're tired, we tend to reach for sugary foods to keep us going. And then there are hormone imbalances which can cause our bodies to cry out for sugar. So it's not just about having a sweet tooth. It's often about what's happening in our bodies and our lives. Knowing why we crave sugar is the first step to overcoming these cravings. Did you know that sugar hides in some of the most unexpected places? It's a sneaky little thing, often lurking in the foods we least expect. Take sauces, for instance, a dollop of ketchup or a splash of teriyaki can pack a surprising sugar punch. And bread, that staple of many a meal, can often contain added sugars. It's not just white bread either, even whole grain loaves can be culprits. Then come the healthy snacks the ones that tout their nutritional benefits but fail to mention their high sugar content. Ever notice how that energy bar seems a bit too tasty to be just nuts and seeds?
That's because it's likely sweetened with honey, agave, or even plain old sugar. The key to unmasking these hidden sugars is to become a vigilant label reader. Check the ingredients, look for those sugar synonyms. It's not just about avoiding sweets, it's about understanding what's in your food. Being aware of hidden sugars helps us make better food choices and control our sugar intake. Now let's explore some practical steps to beat those pesky sugar cravings. Firstly, let's talk about hydration. Drinking plenty of water is not only essential for our overall health, but it can also help curb sugar cravings. Sometimes our bodies can confuse thirst for hunger, leading us to reach for a sugary snack when what we really need is a glass of water. So before you reach for that candy bar, try drinking a glass of water first. Next, consider increasing your protein intake. Protein is known for its appetite-reducing properties. It can help you feel full and satisfied, reducing the need for a sugar fix. Including a source of protein in every meal, like lean meats, eggs, or legumes, can help keep those cravings at bay. Another helpful strategy is practicing mindful eating. This involves being fully present and aware of what and how much we're eating. By paying close attention to our food, we can better recognize when we're truly hungry or just experiencing a sugar craving. Mindful eating can also help us savor our food more and feel satisfied with less. Getting enough sleep is also crucial. Lack of sleep can disrupt our body's hunger hormones, leading to increased cravings and appetite. Prioritizing a good night's sleep can help keep these hormones in balance and reduce sugar cravings. Finally, regular exercise is a great way to combat sugar cravings. Physical activity helps control your weight, reduces stress, and can even help regulate your appetite. Plus, the endorphins released during exercise can provide a natural high, reducing the need for a sugar rush. Remember, it's okay to have a sweet treat occasionally. The goal is not to eliminate sugar entirely, but to create a healthier relationship with food where we're in control, not our cravings. Incorporating these steps into our daily routine can make a big difference in managing and beating sugar cravings. So, are you ready to kick those sugar cravings to the curb? Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned today. We've discovered the insidious nature of hidden sugars lurking in everyday foods and drinks. We've also armed ourselves with practical steps to combat those sneaky sugar cravings. Remember, the first step is awareness. Once we know what to look out for, we can make smarter choices. And those choices can make a world of difference. Reducing our sugar intake can lead to increased energy, weight loss, improved mood, and overall better health. But let's not stop there. With consistency, we can transform these steps into habits and these habits into a healthier lifestyle. Each small victory over sugar is a step toward a more vibrant, healthier you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description for more information and resources to help you on your journey to a healthier lifestyle.